Hello students, welcome to my channel Hans Commerce Tutorial for the lectures on Commerce Accounts, Finance and Management. My suggestion to you, before watching the video, please go to the description below my video. You will find a link there. Take a printout of the problems given in the link and keep it ready before watching the video so that you can be able to understand the problem, the solution and the explanation to get the maximum benefit from the lectures. Thank now we will start the next problem 18th. Problem number 18th. See the problem. From the following particulars you are required to prepare a statement showing A. The cost of material consumed. So you are required to make a statement, statement of cost which should show the material consumed then B. Prime cost. C works cost d total cost these are the items that should be shown in the statement of cost and percentage of works on cost to productive wages we have to calculate percentage of works on cost means factory or it on direct wages and percentage of general on cost on productive wages and percentage of general on cost on works cost so two percentages we require as usual Next, stock on 31st December 1980, finished goods 70 to 800, raw material 33 to 80. And uh, purchase of raw material 7 lakh 59, 200, productive wages 516, 880, sale of finished goods. Then stock at 31st December 1981. So actually 31st December 1980 means last year and 31st December 1981 current year. So our current year is 1981. Then finished goods raw material, closing stock of finished goods, closing stock of raw material. Works overhead charges are 1,29,220, office and general expense 70,161. This is the data given, given. From this data we have to make a statement of cost showing the material consumed, prime cost, works cost and then two percentages we have to calculate. Then next paragraph. The company is about to send a tender for a large plant. The quotation and the costing department estimate that material required would cost 52,000 and wages to workmen for making the plant would cost 231,20. Now we have to make a quotation for a job. This job requires material 52,000 and wages 31,20. The tender is to be made a net profit of 20% on selling price. जो कोटेशन लेंगे वो कोटेशन में प्रॉफिट ऐड करेंगे 20% ऑन सेलिंग प्राइस शो व्हाट द अमाउंट ऑफ टेंडर वुड बी इफ बेस्ड ऑन द अबव परसेंटेजेस एग्जैक्टली सिमिलर प्रॉब्लम नो न्यू पॉइंट इज देयर सो कॉस्ट शीट फॉर द ईयर एंड 31 दिसंबर 1981 करंट ईयर तो मटेरियल कंज्यूम ओपनिंग स्टॉक ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम 33 टू 80 एंड परचेस ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल गिवन Add up both, then closing stock of raw material 35,360 minus color material consumed 7,57,120 item we got material material consumed. Then productive wages are given 5,16,880 prime cost 12,74,000 second item we got. Then works over it is given in the problem 129,220 works cost 14,3,220. Then office on uh, office and general expenses are 70,161. So cost of production 14,73,381. Now in this problem, opening stock of finished goods and closing stock of finished goods are given. So opening stock of finished goods will be added and closing stock of finished goods will be subtracted from cost of production. So this cost of production is opening stock of finished goods add karenge, closing stock of finished goods minus. So we get cost of goods sold 14,68,181. We don't have any selling and distribution over it. So our total cost will stop at cost of goods sold. And sales are given in the problem 15,39,200. So profit balancing figure 71,019. That's all. So we have prepared a complete statement of cost. Right? Now we have to calculate the percentages. Percentage of works over it on direct wages. Works over it are 129,220. Direct wages are 516,880. So 129,220 divided by 516,880, you will get 25%. So works over it are 25% of wages. Then percentage of office and general expense on works cost. Office and general expense are 70,161 and works cost 140,320. So 70,161 divided by 14,035%. We have calculated the percentages also. Now we have to make the quotation. 
Quotation to manufacturer plant. Material required 52,000, wages 3120, prime cost. Works over it are 25% on direct wages. Here it will be calculated. Last year, Jovi percentage works over it ka hai, that will apply during the current year. So 25% on direct wages, direct wages are 3120. 3120 ka 25% you calculate 7800. Works cost we got. Add office and general expense 5% on works cost. So 91,000 ka 5%, 4550. Total cost we got 95,550. To this we have to add profit at the rate of 20% on selling price. Again, selling price we don't have, so we have to suppose. Let the selling price be 100, profit 20, total cost 80. When the total cost is 95,550, how much is the profit? So 95,550 divided by 80 into 20, 23,887.5. This is the profit. Now take this profit here and add up. We'll get the selling price. The quotation. The quotation is 1,19,437.5. That's it. So this is the end of problem number 18. Now, 19th problem. The following figures have been taken from the books of a firm. Some data is given. Raw material opening stock 40,000. Raw material closing stock 30,000. Finished goods opening stock 10,000. Finished goods closing stock 15,000. So we are given stock of raw material and stock of finished goods. Opening stock as well as closing stock. Purchase of raw material 150,000, direct wages 120, factory expenses 120, office expense 50, sales 489,500. This is the complete data given. Next line, what should be the quotation? So first we have to make the statement of cost of last year, right? And we calculate the percentages, even if it is not asking, because without those percentages, we cannot make the quotation. Quotation ke liye last year ke percentages hona zaruri hai. Kun se percentage? Percentage of factory overhead on direct wages. Percentage of administration overhead on works cost. Now what should be the quotation of a job requiring 2000 in material and 3000 in direct wages? Ab ek job ke liye quotation kya denge? Jiska material 7000, material de diya 2000, wages de diya 3000, that's it. Nothing is given regarding overheads. So first we make the cost sheet of the last year. One new point is there. Previous problem, profit percentage was given. 20% on selling price. So every time what should be the percentage of profit on selling price or percentage of profit on total cost. This is the first problem where how much profit we have to charge is not given. It is not specified how much profit we have to charge. Then whatever percentage of profit on total cost which we have earned last year, that percentage we apply for the quotation. So last year ke cost sheet mein se three percentages we calculate. The first percentage, percentage of works overhead on direct wages, percentage of administration overhead on works cost, ye to do as usual. Third percentage, percentage of Profit on total cost. Ye last year ka malum karenge, what is the percentage of profit on total cost? That percentage of profit we apply in the quotation. That is the new point. Right? Now see, cost sheet for the last year. So opening stock of raw material, add purchase of raw material, less closing stock of raw material, material consumed 1,60,000. Direct wages are 1,20,000, prime cost 2,80,000. Then factory expense are given 1,20,000, works cost 4 lakh. Then office expense given 50,000, cost of production 4,50,000. To cost of production, we add opening stock of finished goods 10,000, less closing stock of finished goods 15,000. So cost of goods sold or total cost 4,45,000. And sales are given in the problem 4,89,500. Now we subtract 4,89,500 minus 4,45,000. 44,500 is the profit balancing figure. By making this statement, we come to know there is a profit of 44,500. Now we calculate the percentage. Percentage of factory expenses on direct wages. How much is the factory expense here? 120,000. How much are the direct wages here? 120,000. So factory expense be 120,000 or direct wages be 120,000. So 120 divided by 120 into 100, 100%. In other words, factory expenses are 
हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ वेजेस जितने वेजेस रहेंगे उतने ही फैक्ट्री एक्सपेंसेस लेंगे परसेंटेज ऑफ ऑफिस एक्सपेंस ऑन वर्क कॉस्ट ऑफिस एक्सपेंस आर फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड वर्क कॉस्ट आर फोर लैख तो फिफ्टी थाउजेंड बाई फोर लैख इंटू हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट नाउ वी कैलकुलेट परसेंटेज ऑफ प्रॉफिट ऑन टोटल कॉस्ट तो वट इज द प्रॉफिट हियर फोर्टी फोर फाइव हंड्रेड वट इज द टोटल कॉस्ट फोर लैख फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड तो फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई फोर लैख फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड इंटू हंड्रेड टेन परसेंट सो इफ द प्रॉब्लम इज साइलेंट देन वी कैलकुलेट वॉट इज द परसेंटेज ऑफ प्रॉफिट ऑन टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ लास्ट ईयर एंड द सेम परसेंटेज वी अप्लाई ड्यूरिंग द करंट ईयर इफ द प्रॉब्लम इज साइलेंट प्रीवियस एवरी प्रॉब्लम में परसेंटेज ऑफ प्रॉफिट वॉज गिवन बट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम परसेंटेज ऑफ प्रॉफिट वॉज नॉट गिवन सो वी हैव कैलकुलेट लास्ट ईयर नाउ कोटेशन फॉर द जॉब मेटीरियल टू थाउजेंड वेजेस थ्री थाउजेंड प्राइम कॉस्ट फाइव थाउजेंड फैक्ट्री एक्सपेंसिस आर हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑन डायरेक्ट वेजेस इयर वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड जितने वेजेस है उतना ही वेजेस कितना है थ्री थाउजेंड तो फैक्ट्री एक्सपेंस ऑल्सो थ्री थाउजेंड एट थाउजेंड वर्क कॉस्ट ऑफिस एक्सपेंस आर ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ऑन वर्क कॉस्ट इयर इज तो ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ऑफ एट थाउजेंड इट कम्स टू वन थाउजेंड तो टोटल कॉस्ट आर नाइन थाउजेंड प्रॉफिट इज टेन परसेंट ऑन टोटल कॉस्ट हियर वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड तो टेन परसेंट ऑफ नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड तो सेलिंग प्राइस विल बी नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड दैट्स सो दिस इज द एंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम नंबर नाइनटीन सो सो फार वी हैव सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम ऑन कॉस्ट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ कॉस्ट होप इफ यू आर वॉचिंग कंटिन्यूसली then definitely you got a good command on the problems of unit and output costing so keep watching don't watch in the middle if you take up any one of the video video from the middle you may not be able to understand so my suggestion first you watch the theory then you have to start from video 1 2 3 4 like that in sequence if you follow then definitely you can gain a lot from this lecture so viewers if you are satisfied please please give a like to my channel to my videos and share it among your group in your friends and subscribe don't forget to subscribe my channel so i get lot of enthusiasm when i see that my viewers are in my views are increasing i'm getting more and more likes and also the subscribers are increasing it gives me more enthusiasm to give much much more better videos so thank you for watching all the best for your preparations come on now we'll start the next problem 20th on 30th april 1981 a manufacturer was required to quote a contract for the supply of 1000 electric stoves to so 30th april the company has to give the quotation for manufacturing 1000 electric stoves from the following order prepare a statement showing the price to be quoted to give the same percentage of net profit on turnover as was realized during the 6 months to 31st march 1981 we are get we are given the data for 6 months ending 31st march 1981 during this 6 month whatever percentage of profit on turnover turnover means sales so we have to calculate we have to prepare a statement for 6 months prepare statement of cost for 6 months in that we'll get the profit we calculate what is the percentage of profit on sales and that percentage we apply in the quotation the stock of material on 1 1st october 1980 stock of material on 31st march 1981 opening stock of material closing stock of material purchase of raw material during 6 months 52 to 500 factory wages factory wages means direct wages then factory expenses factory over it establishment expenses administration over it completed stock in hand on 110 1980 completed stock in hand on 31st march 81 So we are given the opening stock. Opening stock of finished goods was not there, but closing stock of finished goods was there, thirty-five thousand. Sales are one lakh eighty-nine thousand. The number of stoves manufactured during the six months was four thousand, and including those sold and those in stock at the close of the period. So total number of goods manufactured, stoves manufactured, four thousand in the last six months. Then the stoves to be quoted for are uniform quality and similar to those manufactured during six months. As from first April 1981, the cost of factory labor had increased by 10 percent, and material cost has increased by 15 percent. From first April, we have to give the quotation on 30th April. So for this quotation, we have to increase the cost of material by 15 percent and labor by 10 percent. 
तो फर्स्ट वी मेक द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ कॉस्ट फॉर द लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स एंडिंग 31 मार्च 1981 तो कॉस्ट शीट फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स एंडिंग 31 मार्च 1981 स्टॉक मेटल कंज्यूम ओपनिंग स्टॉक ऑफ रॉ मेटेरियल परचेज ऑफ रॉ मेटेरियल लेस क्लोजिंग स्टॉक ऑफ मेटेरियल मेटल कंज्यूम 80 टू 600 डायरेक्ट वेजेस 95000 प्राइम कॉस्ट फैक्ट्री ओवरहेड वी ऐड वर्क्स कॉस्ट एस्टैब्लिशमेंट एक्सपेंस वी ऐड कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ओपनिंग स्टॉक ऑफ फिनिश गुड्स वाज नॉट देयर बट क्लोजिंग स्टॉक ऑफ फिनिश गुड्स वाज गिवन 35000 सबट्रैक्ट देन वी गेट द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड और टोटल कॉस्ट प्रॉफिट विल टेक द बैलेंसिंग फिगर सेल्स आर गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम 189000 So profit is nothing but sales minus total cost. We get the profit eighteen thousand nine. Now, working note from one four eighty one, material cost increased by fifteen percent and labor cost increased by ten percent. That is given in the adjustment. So material cost per unit last year. Last year material consumed was eighty two six hundred. And how many stoves were manufactured in the last uh, six months? Four thousand. So eighty two thousand six hundred divided by four thousand stoves. So each stove, each unit. The metal cost is twenty point six five last year, and from first April onwards, metal cost have increased by fifteen percent. Increased by fifteen percent. So twenty point six five into fifteen percent, three point zero nine seven five. So current year material cost per unit will become twenty three point seven four seven five for the quotation. Labor cost per unit last year. Last year labor cost was ninety five thousand. Divide by four thousand stoves manufactured last year. The last year labor cost per unit was twenty three point seven five. Current year labor cost is increasing by ten percent. So twenty three point seven five into ten percent two point three seven five. So labor cost per unit will be twenty six point one two five. This will be applicable in the quotation. Now percentage of factory overhead on direct wages. How much is the factory overhead here? Seventeen thousand five hundred direct wages are ninety five thousand. Seventeen thousand five hundred by ninety five thousand. Eighteen point four two percent is the percentage of factory overhead. Percentage of establishment expenses on works cost. So establishment expenses are ten thousand. Works cost are one lakh ninety five one hundred into hundred. Five point one two five is the percentage of establishment expense. Percentage of profit on sales. Profit is eighteen thousand nine hundred. Sales are one lakh eighty nine thousand. So eighteen thousand nine hundred by one lakh eighty nine thousand ten percent. Now these percentages we apply in the quotation for manufacturing one thousand stoves. So quotation for 1,000 electric stoves. Material 1,000 into what is the material cost per unit? 23.7475. So 1,000 into 23.7475, 23,747.5. Labor 1,000 into 26.125. After increase, so it will become 26,125. So prime cost 49,872.5. Factory overhead are eighteen point four two percent on wages. Here we have calculated eighteen point four two percent on wages. So four thousand eight twelve point two three works cost we got. Establishment expense are five point one two five percent on works cost. So five point one two five on works cost we got two eight zero two point five. So total cost we got. Profit is ten percent on selling price. Here we have got ten percent. So selling price के ऊपर है. So again we we'll make the suppose let selling price be hundred profit ten rupees. And total cost ninety rupees. So when total cost is what fifty seven four eighty seven point three two, how much is the profit? So profit comes to six three eight seven point four eight. Take six three eight seven point four eight. Now selling price will become sixty three thousand eight seventy four point eight. So this is the end of problem number twenty. Hope you got a good command on the problems on unit and output costing. So if you Are satisfied with my lecture? Please like it, give a like to my my videos, share it, and subscribe my channel.